Craig from Buzzworld here. So I just want to show you what we've done on this Puma Defender as a chassis treatment. We've bare metal the rear cross member face, taken the toe pack off, um, taken rear toe tie downs off, mud flaps, painted the inner arches and sanded those, dropped the fuel tank, we've painted right up in, all around the edges of the tank, sort of all around inside and sanded that. Six layers of paint in total on this, on the chassis. They're not overly thick layers, but it's um, two coats of rust encapsulator, two coats of chassis in one, a wash coat of war, so it goes over everything and soaks into seams and things like up in here, we've got seams down inside, spot welded at the bottom, and it can leak down into here. So we hopefully stop all the rust in there. And you get at the top of these mounts and things as well. Uh, you've got rear shocks that come off and then we refit them and then just flip those brackets back in with once they're fitted uh, things like fuel filter cover The war wash coat that we do is also good because we can put it up in here and it will flood down either side get into all these crevices It just stops helps to stop rust staining later on if we if we just spray it with a shirt's gun It's very hard to get into all the areas where well, actually almost impossible this one is like a, a platinum treatment. So we've done the underbody and helped to protect the sills. Not so prone to corrosion on defenders and things, but they will eventually. So things like these for the side steps, they're unbolted and removed so that we can prep these areas and paint them. All of these holes individually, they are all bare metal. Um, everything else in between is that we thin the paint just to check for any problems and things. So we don't bare metal the whole thing. So it is a compromise mud flaps and things are removed and then when we refit them we paint those areas back in as well obviously there's photos of those removed and then refitted there are only plastic arches on the front of these pumas but we paint those into it and look tidy this is now very prone to corrosion here so on this bulkhead um we normally do a little bit of work on that as well just to help things like brick hoses are masked Masking of swivels. We kind of do the, the swivel and the, the hub housing. It's sort of a courtesy to tidy that up and make it look nice. Some of these areas you have to hit from sort of eight different angles. So you need to get down into, into this section in here. And then you'll hit it from here, but you'd miss these other areas up in there. So you've got to paint those as well. It's quite difficult. Obviously masking of the engine, etc., to keep that all original without looking too shabby. Bumpers come off, these tie downs do come off. So these were these were actually sandblasted and then painted smaller items and things that you can remove, you may as well take those off and take them back. You've got bump stops, they come off, they get all painted, even sanded up and behind here just so that the paint adheres properly, otherwise it's not gonna work correctly. Same for the mud flaps this side. So this is quite a complicated area to paint correctly because you need to get, although you can see it easily here, you need to actually get the gun at this angle to hit this area here. Um, and then you've got right up in between the arm and the, and the chassis. And then you also have this area up in here, which is, there's actually a ledge all the way along and you've got to get right up into here and all around, which is very difficult. And then when you spray this area, just this extra bit here, if you don't spray it from the angle of this actual camera you can't get into these bits and then down onto these flat faces here which is also hard to do admittedly they don't suffer from corrosion so badly there but even so it still needs protecting this central cross member comes out gets cavity treated as well just like the chassis does uh, both the faces get done and then we paint that in war so that it slides together nicer forms a gasket much better than things like copper slip and things like that which tends to just trap moisture and rubbish If you hear the arches all painted in more as a cosmetic finish on these on the arches um they are sort of steel inserts on aluminium but it's very rare we see the corrosion problems which is odd um this area can be prone to corrosion so it's always worth keeping on those and this tub support here is very very prone to corrosion especially this bit um, 
And you've got quite a large recess area up in here and through. So these bolts are re-blacked for the back of the shock brackets after they're refitted. So this is all cavity treated up through these holes. Here, here, and here. Floor pan done as well. These are steel braces, so ideally you should rust proof them. Again, not as prone to corrosion as the other parts, but still a bit of an issue. Very complicated area to treat here, which is ready. I'll zoom back out a little bit. That's where the A-frame mounts up to the chassis. It's your central sort of welded in cross member. Very complicated bit to, to do properly. And you've got another welded cross member here. So you can access with a, a lance up through here and then right across to treat the insides of it. We find the PCL lance is the best one we've got so far. It's the best one we've ever tried. It's got like a, a dual tube, which creates like a nice vacuum. Gets lots of paint through it. <laughs> We even try and get the brackets for the cross members. So you can see like a little bit of overspray here and there, but generally pretty good. DTF, nice and clean, as original as it should be. And then a little bit of masking tape we've missed. So this will be like the later fuel sort of cooler that you can see. So if you remove that, that all comes up like new. Sort that in a minute. So we, so if you can actually see, yeah, we dice the actual tow pack in war and then bolt it up and that forms a really nice, beautiful gasket. Stops all the moisture and muck getting in. Looks pretty good. We tend to lightly scotch the exhaust pipe. Just helps give it a nice finish. So yeah, so that's pretty much a platinum treatment done on this 110 completely. And then we'll want to see this back in a year. Inspect it again. Make you a nice cup of coffee. Check it over. Show you anything we, any issues we find. They're quite complicated to do, despite what people say. Um, and to get them to stay like that, you want to keep an eye on them. Obviously, any problems will rectify and things like that. So, um, but it's just a, you just want to chuck black over everything and cross your fingers and hope it's okay. You want to keep an eye on it. Always. The war is a hydrophobic coating, so when the water gets over it, it just tends to bead off really nicely. There's a few videos on our website and things about that. It tends to keep it a bit cleaner. Um, as you can see, it's, if I try and find a bit you can actually see with the light, it's a, it's a dry coating, pretty tough as well. And uh, there's obviously two different types of paint underneath that as well. So we've got active anti-corrosion as rust encapsulator on the bottom, which actually stabilizes any existing rust. Uh, there is a limit to what that'll work on. It won't work on delamination and things, which is why we steam clean, needle gun, wet ice blast, that sort of thing. And then you've got chassis one in the middle, which is like a very hard, tough coating, also a stabilizer. So if there's any bits where it's a little bit thin or something we haven't quite got to as well as we thought we had, it's a good backup for us and for you. And then we've got more of the hydrophobic vapor release coating over the top which basically forces out the local air where possible. It won't really work around these sort of areas with the vapor release because there's a lot too much fresh air around them. But up in sort of nooks and crannies and things like that where all the rust does tend to settle in, there's less air movement. It'll work really well there. So yeah, that's your whole lot. All easy to repair, touch up, maintain and clean.